Hello you guys, Merry Christmas. It's actually the day after Christmas. Christmas just comes and goes really quickly every single year. For the sake of tradition, we are filming the What I Got For Christmas video, which I filmed every single year since I started this channel. There's been a lot of mixed messages on whether or not to film this video, but I love watching these, so I'm gonna film these just so I can look back for my own memories. And if you don't wanna watch these, look out of the video now. Every single member of my family, our love language is gift giving, and we also do not buy things for ourselves throughout the entire year. So we just go a little crazy at Christmas. It's honestly more about the stories that it took to get the presents. So without further ado, we're gonna show you what I got for Christmas. Starting off with speed mode stocking. This is what was in my stocking from Santa this year. wonderful practical stocking. I got everything that I needed. And I try to keep this as organized as possible. So we're going to start with like the couple of friend gifts that I have and then we're going to just pop into categories because if you're new to my channel, I'm a pediatric nurse. I also am a ski coach and I just have a lot of activities and weird interests. So we try to separate them all to keep this video organized. And we're going to start with the gift that I'm holding here in my arms and that's a tortilla. My amazing friend Jason and Maddie, they got me a tortilla blanket. It's literally shaped like a circle. I don't really know how to show this, but I'm going to wrap myself in it because I'm a night shift nurse and I always tell people like I'm burritoing <laughs> if I'm busy because that just means I'm basically laying in the couch in recovery mode trying to flip my schedule. And so they got me a tortilla so that I can nurse burrito. So thank you so much, Jason and Maddie. This was such a thoughtful gift. They also got me a couple other things. This fun P&W boyfriend scented candle thing that I melt. I'm obsessed with pigs. So obviously they got me a little piggy snack container because I love to pack my lunch. They got me a whole bunch of different accessories for an air tag with an actual air tag itself so that I can stick it somewhere on something that I don't want to lose. So thank you so much, Jason Maddie. That was so thoughtful and I'm really excited for all of these fun little goodies. The next gift that I got is from my best friend, Katie Mack. We do a gift exchange every year and she got me this fun knock knock pad. That's a packing list. I just thought this was so great. If you've watched my videos for a long time, I'm obsessed with notepads. So love this. Thank you so much, Katie. And then she also got me the Glossier perfume, which is so funny because I got her, one of her gifts was a Glossier eyeshadow palette. And so we always just like happen to get each other similar vibed gifts without even talking about it. It's gotta be a best friend thing. I'm obsessed with how it smells. So thank you so much, Katie. Let's start with the beauty gifts. Let's mix it up this year. First things that I got are a bunch of hair accessories. I got this whole stack of hair ties. These are my favorite from this um, Kitsch brand. They're very gentle on my hair and I'm obsessed with these. I also got two different headbands from Viore because I like to wear headbands to work out in. I have like a bunch of flyaways or for work. So thank you, mom. And then from my aunt, I got this adorable Skeeta headband. This is gonna be like so great to cover my ears if I go skate skiing and I have the matching necky that goes with this. So I kind of got my aunt hooked on this brand and I'm obsessed with this. So thank you so much, Marley. My aunt also got me a replacement of my favorite Tweezerman tweezers. I'm gonna show you up close. These things are mega sharp. They will get whatever is stuck in you or on you out. And I had a pair of these and I actually wrecked them because I put them inside of my Roomba to try to get hair out of them, which I will never do ever again. I got a restock on a bunch of products that I love. This is my favorite body wash from Billy. I also got more dry shampoo. I kind of technically bought this for myself since I got a two pack for my mom and then she gave me one. And then I got some of my favorite BB cream. This is the Maybelline BB cream that I've been using for years and years and years. And it's like $7 and it's so great. And then my big beauty gift from my mom is a new blow dryer. This is actually a Dyson knockoff because the Dyson is so expensive. So I got this one from Lafayne. This is the exact blow dryer that I got my mom last year for Christmas and it changed her life and made her enjoy blow drying her hair. Mine is like a $30 one from Conair that I've had for over 10 years and it's really crusty. So thank you so much, mom. This is going to make blow drying my hair so much easier and so much faster and lighter weight. I'm really good friends with my hairdresser and she is obsessed with the Dyson. I brought her this blow dryer to test out and she was like, honestly, it is really comparable. This one just has like a little bit of a shorter cord. So if you're looking for a Dyson dupe, I highly recommend this one. I'll leave a link to as many of the things that I can find down below if you're interested. Okay, let's do, let's do some of the nursing gifts. 
This year I got a restock on a bunch of scrubs because I go through scrubs like crazy and my sizes kind of changed this year so I needed some new scrubs. So my mom got me some really cute ones. I got this color in Caribbean blue with an orange tie. I love the figs under scrub tops so I got a bunch of these. This is an olive color. I got this really cute like blueberry colored set with a matching long sleeve under scrub to wear with that. This stunning auburn set with this really cute little pink tie matching under scrub top. I'm so excited to wear those in the new year especially because I have some exciting things coming so stay tuned for that. I also got my first figs vest. This is a stunning purple color. I have a pair of scrubs that look like this and I wear a vest every single day at work. Literally every single day. It's just comfy for me and I feel like completes my outfit and I love having the pockets to hold things and I feel like it looks professional and I'm just not a scrub top girly so thank you so much mom for getting me that. I'm obsessed. She also knew that I needed more compression socks. My laundry literally cannot keep up especially when I'm working a four in a row. It just like it doesn't happen. I only have three pairs of socks so she got me these with little ambulances on it. This one which has the anatomy and then this is a lovely Caribbean blue color that matches the pants that she got me. So thank you so much mom. I'm gonna make a stack. Okay. Kind of also in the nursing theme my dad got me this bent go lunchbox. It's just fun if to pack lunches and not have to waste a bunch of baggies on things. So thank you so much dad. We're gonna move into some of the kitchen stuff off of that. I got this adorable funnel set. You never know when you need a funnel until you actually need a funnel. My mom also got me a bunch of of freezer packs to keep things cold. This is such a random gift. My poor dad got roped into getting this for me. <laughs> I got a bamboo dispenser set for foil and plastic wrap. This was from Costco and I saw this in the store and I'm like, I need to organize my drawer and all of these things. I love organization. So he got this for me and the lady in the aisle helped talk me into it. He was like, I don't get it, but he will understand. He also got me the matching baggy organizers to organize all the plastic bags, which is perfect because I have them shoved in this terrible spot in my kitchen and all of the cardboard boxes like break and the baggies explode so this will keep things very organized thank you father i got some other food things i love my dad got me the perfect man in chocolate form like a chocolate bomb for hot cocoa i got some raspberry syrup i'm obsessed with fruit flavored syrup it's i think it's better than maple syrup this fig glaze from my aunt we love fig and we love balsamic glaze and so this is them combined i also got a bunch of tea and it's mostly from tazo i got the chai tea jasmine green tea elderberry blackberry which I've never tried and then calm chamomile. I love having tea. I drink a ton of it I swear it helps keep me from getting sick I put like honey in my tea and have it the first thing when I wake up and before bed Those are all the food items. Let's do some of the household goods My dad knows I'm obsessed with the volcano candle scent So he got me more of the volcano candle oil from anthropology to put in my diffuser as well as this delicious smelling white volcano candle It's just the perfect little size might put it in my bathroom so thank you so much father. I also forgot to show in the kitchen food section I got this really cute onion container to like put half of an onion since I live alone And I usually don't use a full onion when I cook So this will preserve it without wasting more plastic bags. My uncle Dana got me wool dryer balls These are so much better than dryer sheets, which are literally just putting chemicals all over your clothing My mom got me some more dish towels. These are from Target I love how they feel like they're very thick and clean looking and my dish towels are just really old from college And they needed a refresh. This is kind of a big gift for my mom that I was very very surprised about. My mom got me a set of Brooklyn and sheets, but not for my apartment, for my room here at home. I'm at my parents' house right now because I have really old sheets from like when I was in high school maybe, and they've just seen better days. So she got me the same exact sheets that I have in my apartment just so that I can feel fully at home when I'm at home. And being a night shift nurse, my sleep is very important to me. So I'm very grateful to have like nice bedding. It's, you know, it's the little things that just help with your sleep, make it a little bit easier. Okay, let's jump into some of the rest of clothing things that I got. I got a bunch of stuff from Viore. We got it all on sale, but I got this cute green tennis skirt from them, green sweatpants, which now that I think about, I could wear over the skirt if it's cold and I'm playing like indoor tennis. And I have the matching top already for that set. Also from Viore, I got this really cute button-up shirt matching set. It's a cute little, I don't even know what color this is. It's not maroon, 
they call it something hazelnut matching shorts with a little short sleeve top i got this really soft green sweater two long sleeve turtlenecks from h&m one in black and one in white i got a bunch of calvin klein bralettes these are just so comfy to wear and all of mine were from high school so they had holes in them so thank you mom for the restock my mom also got me this really cute boston sweatshirt we bought this together when we were in the airport when we went to boston it was only like 20 bucks but you know i was like this is cute and it was really fuzzy inside so now i can remember that trip that was like one of my favorite trips ever oh my goodness my aunt this was such a surprise my aunt got me this really comfy patagonia i wear stuff like this all the time at the mountain to coach in and i wore this all day yesterday so thank you so much marley oh my god i am obsessed with this gift my friend erica got me the greatest gift ever i was so surprised she got me this cotopaxi vest it's so stinking cute and it goes with all of the scrubs that i also have as well i can't decide if i want to wear it as like a work vest or a skiing but i think i will wear it as both i love these vests because you can actually put them in the washer if you need so thank you so much erica i'm like so obsessed and cotopaxi is so adorable we are down to the final categories we're gonna do the random gifts then the ski gifts and then a surprise category whoa i put all the random gifts in this box restock on razors my mom got me another knock knock pad this is my favorite one for days of the week i got two books this one's from my uncle it's called hidden valley road inside the mind of an american family this was on my list it's about a family who has 12 children and six of them have schizophrenia it's a very interesting read this is a really cool book that i've started reading my mom got this for me in boston it's called revolutionary surgeons and it's all about the surgeons that helps like play a role in the American Revolution. And I have this cute little bookmark of a piggy in here that my uncle got me. Also in the book category, my other uncle Mac got me a Kindle. I'm so shocked. I didn't think I was gonna get this, but I really wanted this to read on night shift. Like sometimes if you have a slow hour, it's just nice to pass the time reading. So he got me a Kindle with this really cute little case. I got two sets of colored pencils. If you guys follow me on Instagram, I color for my kids at work, like coloring pages, and then I hide them in their room so that when they wake up, they have something that makes them smile so the colored pencils at my work are really terrible so i think i'm gonna keep these like at home maybe as my own personal nice prismacolor colored pencils and then these are from amazon there's like a ton in here 72 different colors and so i'm gonna put this in my locker at work so that i can use the nice colored pencils when i color my aunt got me a birdie this is something that you put on your keychain and if someone is like attacking you you basically pull it and it makes a really loud noise is my basic understanding it looks like this just a cool gift idea very practical i love a practical gift miniature crochet kit to make a pig i kind of wanted to learn how to crochet i thought this would be like a fun project on night shift my last random gift is this beautiful fan that my uncle got in barcelona it looks like this and this was to bring to the beyonce concert but i didn't get it in time because everyone does the let's see if i can do it properly Go watch the movie if you want to know what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay, we're in the final categories, ski stuff. First, my mom got me two ski themed pillows. This one is from Crate and Barrel Kids. It was on sale, so if you want it, go get it now. I'll try to link it down below. It's so cute, little mountain with a gate on it. And I may have my friend try to embroider a little tiny skier because it's like the ski run, it's so cute. And then this is a gorgeous pillow from West Elm. It's so cute. I feel like I'm gonna keep this in my apartment, but I may also bring it to the cabin. I don't know, it's probably gonna go in my apartment because it's just too cute not to. My mom also got me a Carhartt beanie. I wear beanies on days that I'm coaching, but I it's a race day, so I'm just standing out in the cold. And this one is super beautiful color and a double line, so it's really thick and warm. My aunt got me a new pair of gloves. These are my favorite gloves. They are the Leaky Gloves, and they have a tiny little hook so I can click into my poles without having to put pole straps on, which is really handy coaching, just moving around so quickly. Okay, this is so cute. This was on my list, and I think it's sold out from Anthropology, but it's a tiny little ornament that's a pair of ski goggles and it's so beautiful and sparkly and my mom wrote like a little note on the box so that i can remember the year that i got it just very special to me i love ornaments that are sentimental so thank you mom my mom also got me a new pair of goggles these are my favorite they're pock ones i actually don't have this shape goggle but the reason why i wanted these is because these are kind of more like storm lenses for when it's snowing outside i have like only mirrored orange reflective lenses that are great for the sunshine but in oregon there's plenty of days that i'm coaching and it's not sunny and bright out so these goggles would be perfect for that and it's like a beautiful purple color so thank you mom i can't believe i didn't own this for so long this will change my life my dad got me a boot dryer which as a coach who coaches in pouring rain in oregon this is essential because i literally have 
had to wear boots the next day that are wet inside and that is a feeling that you never want to experience my dad got me this great boot dryer let me show you a picture of it it has a place for your both your gloves in the front and then your boots on the back so it's just really nice and powerful i've used this one before and it's very effective so thank you so much father the last ski gift that i got is very random but i have a pair of boot heaters and the lifts like crushed down on the wiring so they broke so i got the replacement wiring for my boot heaters i did get one pair of shoes this year these are on clouds i actually got these with my mom like at some point in the year on some sale forgot that i had picked these out but they're really really cute shoes these are my favorite workout running shoes and i'm obsessed with them love the color they're like a gray with just hints of green on them final category this category is the car category if you follow me on instagram i kind of dropped a hint to this but i ended up getting a new car this year i will share more details on why what it is and everything that happened with it i just need to have a day where it's not raining so that i can film the car tour in the second half of the video but my wonderful father got me some accessories for my car that are much needed he got me some black velcro strips this is actually for my radar detector that i use when i drive up to the mountain the car it slides around and doesn't stay still so i'm just gonna put a tiny little strip of black velcro on the dash so that the radar detector can stick to it he also got me a new pair of windshield wipers very necessary if you live in oregon this is one of my favorite gifts that i got i bought my car used the dealership that i bought it from i had a terrible buying experience from them and i just really hate the license plate covers that came on my car so my wonderful father tracked down the license plate covers to replace them with the same brand that my car is hint hint it meant a lot to me and he got some nice people to help him out and recover the free license plate covers so thank you so much we can get the ugly ones off and my new license plates just came in so i need to put them on my car okay then the next gift that he got me weather mats for my car like the entire car front mats back mats and then the trunk also has a mat that's in my car but it's just like too big to hold in the screen this is from the brand 3w accessory it the quality is incredible and this is something that's so necessary being a ski coach living in oregon and having mats that fit your car my car came with some weather mats but they are the wrong size for my car which is so weird like why they would buy the wrong size i don't understand but literally when i am driving the gas pedal is half covered by the mat kind of a safety issue so this was a really wonderful amazing gift thank you so much to my dad for doing all the research on that and making sure that my car is going to be kept in good condition this is the final car gift that i got my dad had this hidden in the tree which is just so dug he got me a new little book for my insurance and registration to keep in my car at all times he got me money to buy the unlimited car washes at caddy car wash because for one month because i drive my car in the worst nastiest rock and dirt up to the mountain and it coats my car in really intense grit so i need to wash my car but i'd have to wash it like every couple days if i wanted to get it off so the unlimited pass is going to be great for the month of january when i drive the most to the mountain and my car gets absolutely destroyed so thank you so much father for that for real the last gift of christmas is something that i was supposed to get for my birthday but i ended up not like opening a lot of gifts for my birthday because we were traveling so they have been saving this for months and i almost bought it for myself but i didn't they got me this adorable mushroom ottoman for my apartment because my apartment's very small i have a teeny tiny couch and i need somewhere to put my feet up when i have people over so this is like the perfect little ottoman to rest your feet or sit on if you have guests it's really cushy and then it also has storage inside so you can put blankets and things um which i just think is absolutely great i love a two-in-one gift that was my christmas what a year i feel like i got other people some of my best gifts ever and I feel like I also got some of my best gifts ever very practical but everything is super fun and I'm very grateful so yes what a year this is probably the last video you're gonna see of 2023 I have a lot of big news to share coming up soon so stay tuned I'm sorry the videos have been a little bit slow but I'm just trying to prioritize mental health but all the other activities and things that I'm involved in so we're just making it all work and if you want to follow along on my journey next year with lots of big exciting things coming be sure to subscribe down below and give this video a thumbs up and and today's question of the day is going to be share a moment of gratitude that you experienced this holiday season for me there were so many special moments this holiday season but just to be able to like sit around and be at home with my parents and sit in my pjs all day and snack on food and be able to get texts from the people i love and care about i feel like that was like one of my favorite memories of christmas was just to finally be able to relax like i haven't been able to flip this easily since i started on night shift and i feel like it's because i'm finally like feel a little bit stress-free and just was able to relax which is so 
something I'm really grateful for, especially after a really busy year. And I will talk to you guys in a video very, very soon. I'm like mid taking thumbnail, you guys. You guys, Doug got me a jelly cat and her name is Lima. She's besties with my avocado. This was honestly the best gift of Christmas. Look at that face. Hey